Hi, my name is Brayden. I read a nonfiction book by Jean Marie Laskis called Concussion. The book Concussion is about a young doctor named Bennett Umalu who did autopsies and studied human brains. Umalu came to the United States from Nigeria to get away from the civil war that was going on over there. And Umalu did an autopsy on a football hall of famer named Mike Webster who played as a center for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And when you're a center and any lineman in the NFL, every play you're constantly getting hit in the head and your brain's always bouncing around inside your head. So it causes a uh, trauma to your head almost every play and your brain's bouncing around hitting parts of your skull. So towards the end of Mike's life, he was living out of his van and he was hurting pretty bad and he would even tasered himself to relieve some of the pain and he died when he was 50 and Amalu did an autopsy on him and found out that his brain had a mental deterioration and it was a condition called CTE and he found out that the deterioration to his brain wasn't caused from an accident, it was from a, it was caused from constant trauma to the head from playing football, and Umalu had no idea what football was or what the NFL was, and he had never even seen football. But once he had realized what it was and figured out what it was, he notified the NFL about his discoveries, but they just ignored him and didn't seem to care. And I found this book interesting because it tells you a little bit about. Umalu's life and what he went through growing up as a kid and all about all of his accomplishments and brain research and I just found it really cool to read and learn out and learn about what football and constant brain trauma can do to your brain and I haven't read many books this the the only books that I've read that compare to this are the fact that <laughs> that it's about football and that's it but yeah if you like football and learning about what football can do to the brain i guess then i'd recommend reading this book the end